guys. It's been a while. Welcome to a pretty fresh and icy winter's morning in southwest London. Richmond Park to be precise. That is Richmond Park. So yeah, I've not been very active on this channel for a few months probably since the summer. My apologies. I, I guess, like everybody else, has just been trying to navigate their way through these weird times and this global health situation. But I can't say for me personally it's been a bad year or I should say 2020 wasn't such a bad year. I, I enjoyed it. I, uh, I got on my bike and I explored and I kind of made the, the most of it, the best of it. Couldn't go to the gym, couldn't do stuff, couldn't do the, the things that you wanted to do because of shutdowns, lockdowns and what have you. So I did what I could do. And overall, I had a great year. I had a rocking suntan from training outside, getting all my kit off, soaking up the sun's rays whilst training on a bar. And that's really all I needed, just a, a bar. A bar and a bike. And I was good, good to go. Fit as the proverbial butcher's dog, brown as a berry. Ended up being a pretty good year and here we are into a new year and let's be honest it would have to be it would have to be a pretty a, a pretty shocking year to be worse than last year so all the best hope you're having a great one hope you had a great one and wish you all the best for this coming year. I've just been thinking about a great little exercise which I've been using, which I wanted to share with you. And it's about the inner voice and calming the inner voice. And you've got that inner chatter constantly nagging away at you, which is, it's like that, that friend that we, we've all experienced, which is, the one that wants to have your legs from underneath you, bring you down and make you feel a bit worse, make you feel worse than he does. You know, we've all had those, those type of people. We may still have them, but that's what your inner voice is like. It, it wants to bring you down. It wants to drain the confidence out of you because it wants to keep you where you are. Its job is to keep you safe. And the best way it can keep you safe is by keeping you right here right where you are, where it knows how to handle the situation you're in right now. It doesn't like the unknown. It doesn't like you going out there into unknown spaces. It wants to know what's coming. That's why it keeps you where you are and it does that by controlling you. It does it by firstly making you believe that you are your mind. You're not. And any viewers of my channel will know that you're not your mind, that you are you and you have a mind. And then it does it by chipping away at your confidence. It's like a, a form of mental abuse. Chipping away at your confidence so you don't go for things, you doubt yourself, you don't want to go into the unknown, you stay in your comfort zone right where you are. And that's where your mind is comfortable keeping you because then it knows what's coming and uh, it can, it can keep you safe. Well, what I do now, when I have disempowering thoughts and ideas from my mind, and it's your mind if it's disempowering, if it's not empowering, it's your mind. If it's your truth, if it's you, it will be empowering. If it's not, it's your mind. Now what I do when I get a disempowering idea, thought, feeling, I simply acknowledge it by saying to my mind, well, thanks for that. 
thanks for sharing that. Nice one, I appreciate it. And the moment I do that, I'm putting separation between me and mind. I'm separating myself from mind. I'm becoming a viewer, a watcher, an observer of the thoughts of my mind, which means I'm not my mind. If I'm my mind, I can't observe it. I can't separate and observe it. So when I do that, immediately it has no power over me anymore. I've separated from that thought and I can view it and then let it go. Let it go on its way. It's brilliant. It's so powerful and I highly recommend you give it a go. So don't get annoyed. Don't get angry. It's just doing what it's programmed to do to keep you safe. It's got your best interest at heart. It's, it's just doing what it's supposed to do and it's really good at doing that. It's really good at doing its job. So acknowledge that. Thanks, I appreciate it. You're doing a good job, thank you. And then you get on with your day. It's powerful, it works, try it. For more of this type of content, more insight, wisdom if you will, exercises to get you to the best you like and subscribe for more videos i'll see you in the next one have a great day ciao